talk about the Alive board from Logical Choice Technologies. This feature-rich, versatile, interactive whiteboard is 80 inches across. It's lightweight and durable. It comes with two pens, one for teachers, one for students. Both are battery powered. It comes loaded with the innate Alive software, but we can load Active Inspire on there as well. And best of all, it works with both Mac and PC. Now the Alive board is so feature rich and it has literally hundreds of tools that you can use in the classroom to bring your lessons to life. Now we're not going to talk about all of them today, just a few of the highlights, but I do want to talk about real quick the control panel. Now when you access your tools, this is where you're going to go to pull, uh, pull up most of your math tools, things like the compass and the protractor. Most everything else you'll access across the top. Things like replay, screen capture, drawing geometric shapes, tables and charts. And then of course on the side, you'll have access to your resource library when you're going through building your charts. So let's go ahead and jump into some of the highlights of the Alive board. We want to talk first about the pen tool. And we're going to access the pen tool at the top. You can also access it on the side from your control panel. I'm going to move this over so I can access better. Now I've got my pen tool selected, so I'm just going to draw on it. The Alive board is very responsive, and in addition to being very responsive, it gives you an extreme amount of control. So I'm going to bring my drop-down menu here, and you can already see the, some of the options available to me as far as width and pencil styles. Now what is uh, really cool about the Alive board, though, is some of the things I can do with it. I have a paintbrush feature, for example, or in the case of someone like me that has really terrible handwriting, I have the option to choose calligraphy, so anything I write is going to pop in that beautiful calligraphy style. Or if I'm just in a silly mood, I can access a, uh, well, a snakeskin brush. Let's hit customize real quick and see what else we have access to. So we recognize this pen style chart from before, but now we have more uh, options open to us, our color options. We also have our width control. I can control the slide bar here and make my pen stroke thinner or as thick as I want. Now I'm going to click more on color because I want to show some of the uh, things that you can do with color. Now if you want to get more involved with uh, the styles of color that you have and you want to branch out uh, beyond what's offered here, all you have to do is define custom color and voila, you have an artist palette that lets you define the colors as specifically as you want to. I can either use the slider bar to control the colors, I can use the pen to hone in on what I want once I have my color that I've selected. I want to go ahead and save that for use later. I can hit add to custom color, voila, there it is. I hit OK. Now I'm always going to have access to that color on the Alive board. And that, in a nutshell, is the pen tool. All right, let's talk about math tools now and the opportunities available to you there. All right, I'm going to be working with ruler and compass today. So to access the ruler and the compass, I'm going to go to tool, click on tool, and I'm going to have access to ruler first. I'm going to hit that. Now you see the ruler pops up at the bottom. I'm just going to hover my pen over the ruler and that's going to let me bring it up. Now I have full control over the ruler and that includes the size as well. And using the pen, I'm going to make it larger, smaller, depending on what my needs are. Now we have a lot of functionality with the ruler and to access the menu, I'm just going to hit this arrow here. And this is going to give me access to things like units so I can measure things in pixels, inches, centimeters, millimeters. I can control the uh, transparency here as well. I can make the ruler as light or as dark as I need for the lesson. I also can do the vernier as well. That's going to let me measure the distance between two points. I'm just going to show that off real quick. So I've chosen my two points. It's going to let me know that those two points are 0.72 inches away from each other. I want to hit this, uh, I want to hit, uh, show you how to move the ruler real quick. Next to the drop down menu option, we have this larger circle. If I put the pen, uh, my pen on that, I can now control the angle that the ruler is at. And there's also a feature in the menu that's going to let me draw lines with the assistance of the ruler. I'm going to go ahead and exit out of that now. I'm going to bring up my compass next. So to do that, I'm going to click on tool again. My drop down menu appears. Compass is right under ruler and voila, there I have my compass. I do want to show the control you have. With the Alive board, you can make it as tall or as uh, short as you want. I can even control the width. I can make it a lot wider. And this is how I'm going to make it uh, more narrow. Now I want to show off some of the, I'm going to make it a little bit shorter. Let's look at the menu with it. So with the compass, you can talk about the type of graphic you want. 
We have it set on arc right now. I'm going to uh, do a sector. I'm going to access the menu again, and I want to show the radius. I want to show centimeter. So I'm ready to do my, uh, my circle now. So I'm going to hover above the pencil, and when I see the uh, pen icon appear through the arc, that means I'm ready to go. And there we go. I've drawn my sector. And there we go, the whole class can take a look at what we've drawn together. We have our sector on the Alive board. We can talk about the uh, percentages together and visualize it together as a class. All right, so let's talk about geometric shapes now. On my page, I've got some 2D shapes and I've got some three-dimensional shapes. And making any of these on the Alive board is as easy as going to your toolbar across the top and accessing a drop-down menu. So here's all of the uh, 2D shapes I can make. Not quite as visually as exciting as a three-dimensional shape, so I'm going to move on to the next. I'm going to bring my drop-down menu for my 3D shapes. And these are all the options I have. I'm going to select sphere. Then I'm going to put my pen on the board, and I'm going to make my sphere. Now, once I draw these, I can move them around the board. So I've got my big sphere here. I can even make this sphere devour everything in its path. There we go. Nom, nom, nom. Now, a lot of teachers that use this in the classroom, they're making things like molecules or talking about planets uh, or just trying to show off the concepts of spheres and cubes to their classroom. And that's all the fun we can have with geometric shapes. Let's talk about the calculator function that comes with the Alive board. We know that sometimes in the classroom, many times in fact, you're going to need more than just a standard calculator and the Alive board gives you access to just that. So let's talk about the scientific calculator if you need that. Not only do you have your standard, we have everything that you need in the classroom for calculus, geometry, everything that you would need for a scientific calculator. We also have access to more features. We can have a programmer's calculator if we so desire. We can hit view one more time, and now we can do statistics on our calculator. But on the Alive Board, it's not just about uh, doing math problems. We can also have access to things like unit conversion. date calculation. We also have access to worksheets. So if you're teaching a class on, say, mortgage, we have a worksheet pops up and gives you access to that information. And if at any point you find yourself at a loss and need some help with the calculator tool on the Alive Board, don't be afraid to access the help function. All right, using tables on the Alive Board is pretty simple. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the board and I'm going to click on tables. Now I have my menu here. I can determine here how many rows, how many columns I want, the color. I can talk about the line style. I can have broken up. I have full control over that. I can even use here the width of my lines as well as the transparency. So I'm going to go two rows and five columns. I'm going to hit OK. And there it is. There's my table. I'm going to pull that back up though. And I want to do some more, I want to do a couple more rows. So I have two rows. I'm going to go up to five. And I want to go up to eight columns. I'm going to make it color green. And I'm going to change the line style up. Why not? And I'm going to hit OK. Now it's over my previous table, so I'm just going to put my pen over the arrows. And I'm going to shift it down. Now I can also uh, click inside of one of the cells and I'm going to right click with my pen. And I've got my drop down menu. Now you can see I have several options to choose from. I can insert a row, insert a column, delete a row. I'm going to hit delete row and there you go. It deletes one for me. All right, let's talk about dual screen. Right now I have a activity that centers around a short story. Very short, very simple. Now typically I would have to go to my next page and if I need to refer back to the story, I've got to hit back once again. That's not the case with the Alive Board. All I have to do here is hit dual screen and then I have my story on my left side and I've got the activity which in this case is sort the parts of speech on my right side. So I can visualize the story while working on the worksheet on the right side. No need toggling back and forth right now. Voila, dual screen. All right, let's talk about a really cool feature. It's called Replay, and as the name suggests, it allows you to replay all of the action on any given uh, page. In the classroom, you want the opportunity to replay what just happened on a board for students that maybe didn't quite catch what you were doing. Fortunately, the Alive board allows you to do just that. Let's go to View and see what our options are. 
and click on view. And there we go, midway down the menu, we can replay the current page. We can replay the current page continuously, or we can actually select which pages we want replayed. I'm gonna go back to my page. Now, I'm gonna do a math problem, or rather, I'm gonna have one of my students here in the studio do a math problem, so if you can come right up, and we're gonna do some long division. 97,532 divided by four. All right. Now, when we hit replay, you will have full control over how fast or how slow you want to play it. All right, I'm going to select my pointer tool. And let's say we go ahead and play this back. I'm going to use the icon on the menu, and we're going to see safe work replayed in full. And there we go. So as we go, you do have the option to speed this up or even slow it down, whatever pace you need it to replay at. And that's how we replay a page for use in the classroom. Let's talk about two other key features with the Alive Board. The first is embedded links. So right now I'm talking about big cats in my class uh, in my lesson. So I'm going to pull this picture down. And I've got a uh, locked image of a leopard. It gives me some information about it. But in the classroom, maybe I want to introduce some more information about this leopard. That's cool. I have an embedded link. So I'm going to hit my link right here. We're going to go to the internet now, and it's going to take me to a, a page on Wikipedia dedicated to leopards. So me and my class can talk about this in more detail. But it's not just about embedded links that make the Alive Board cool. I can also do embedded video. All right, so I have my picture here of the leopards. I'm just going to click right here. Now we're going to go to YouTube, and this is where some really cool things are about to happen. Okay, one of the really cool features about the Alive Board is the ability to embed video and even annotate over it. So I've already got a video playing, and this is big jungle cats. We have leopards, lions, cheetahs, things like that. And let's say I've incorporated this into my lesson, and I want to take notes with my students as I go. Well, the cool thing is, the Alive Board lets me do just that. So I'm going to write my annotation over it, since we're studying big cats. Sometimes this can be a difficult thing to do with whiteboard, interactive whiteboards. With the Alive Board, not at all. Ladies and gentlemen, annotating over video. All right, now to show off dual user functionality with the Alive Board, I'm going to have some help from Faith this time. So we're going to have a math off to show this off, and I'm going to bring up a few tools here. First, I'm going to bring up a countdown clock. So I'm going to get a digital clock. I've got my clock here, but I don't want a clock. I want a countdown. So I've got it set for 10 seconds. Test space. In just a few yeah. seconds, is your pen turned on? Your pen is good. I'm going to hit countdown, and we're going. So Faith, okay. get that pencil out. And just want to know, not very good at math. A times 2 plus I is 3. Oh, ah! no, it's done. Well, the time is up. We've showed it off. I'm going to go ahead and next out. We have, well done. Time is up. Let's see how we did. Let's see who won our math off. And it looks like a tie. That's okay. I'm going to go ahead, hit next page. Great Woo! job. We all did a good Yay! job. And that is how we use dual pen functionality. All right, now we're going to take a walk through Active Inspire. Like we've said, Active Inspire works just fine on the Alive board. In fact, if you want to use any interactive whiteboard software with the Alive board, works just fine. We just use Active Inspire. So we're going to walk through that right now. We're going to go to our tools and we're going to pull up Magic Ink and we're going to reveal the shapes that are hidden in the school. As you can see, as I've stated, we still have the full functionality of Active Inspire, except the only difference being I can only use one pen in Active Inspire with the Alive Board. I don't have that dual pen functionality. Now if you want to toggle between Active Inspire and the Alive software, it's as easy as minimizing one screen and maximizing the other. And here we are, I'm inside the Alive software. Now I'm going to go back into Active Inspire, and we're going to continue with this software. So I'm going to go to the next page. 
All right, so here we have active expression on the Alive board. It works just the same way as it always has. You load your expression on there, register the devices, and then questions like, who was the first president of the United States? You can put that to your class and using their learner response devices, answer the question just like they always did with active expression. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit play, and let's get those questions answered. And there we go, it looks like everybody in the classroom answered B, George Washington. So as you can see, everything works just like you uh, expect it to. All right, we have one last example to use with active expression. In this question, name an animal that has four legs, we're going to use the learner response devices so students can actually text in their answers. And there we go, 25% of my class said cat, 25% said dog, 25% tiger. Once again, we can see that there's no loss of functionality with active expression with the Alive Board.